and welcome back to another vlog so i don't know where we last left off i think it was saturday night um, and i was super tired i think i was talking to you guys how my plan um to change up my living room is about to be on the go so sunday i was supposed to go yesterday but i ended up just having a bit of a chill day i was i woke up with a headache i was really tired and i said you know what i'm just gonna leave it to today which is monday so yeah today i am going into town gonna look up some home decor pieces that could work in my living room i'm gonna be taking out some stuff in my living room i already started changing the vibe so i'm gonna show you guys the vibe that i've got in here thus far and yeah i'm just gonna kind of make a day out of it and then i'm coming home and i've got to start a website for a client so that is my plan for the day yeah so let's just let's go guys so my tulips actually started opening up this morning so pretty even the other ones did as well let me show you guys the other ones and these ones started opening up as well which i'm so obsessed they're so pretty okay so the living room i've got my tulips there so i like the vibe the clean vibe with like the greenery i like the nude i think i want to take out some of these cushions with like the um bubbles and stuff on and i'm trying to keep more linen-y like the clean linen-y feel i'm going to keep my canvases there i'm just thinking of changing out some of these side tables um i need to get some paint brushes to paint over the walls and yeah i'm thinking of changing that lampshade out to probably like a white linen one i like the bulkhead i'm thinking of changing the vase i'm going to put that picture up there take the mirror out there's just a few things that i'm going to do but i'm going to be taking you guys through on all of it and here is my outfit for today it's literally really simple it's just a bodysuit from zara and um, which i tied at the back because can't really see but yeah i tied it at the back because it was too loose but i think i like it like this it's giving hold to neck and i like that um and just a pair of jeans from zara as well that i got in the sale last year so that is me guys <sighs> okay guys so i actually planned to leave out for like 12 half 12 the time is like 20 to 1 and i haven't left out because i've been trying to get some content for like reels for instagram and i feel like now is the only time in the week that i'm going to be able to do it because it's such a busy week this week so yeah it's a bit late but it's not like i'm in a rush because there's like an appointment or anything so it's okay i'm just gonna aim to leave out for around one but yeah the outfit today let me show you guys of the fit today today's fit is really simple i got this bodysuit from zara some jeans from zara i think i told you guys before my converses this bag from primark and this where is this from my mum got me this um, Cardi from Gap um, and then I literally just done my hair in a cute bun. I feel like you need a bit of lighting. I literally done my hair in a cute bun and then a bit of curls just around the edges because, girl. And then I done a bit of a simple clean girl um, makeup look. No lashes, nothing. Just powder, concealer, blush, mascara and that's it what a vibe so i'm gonna try edit a bit of content before i leave out and then get going so catch you guys in a bit so guys if i ever tell you guys a saga right just to get out of this house it is wild i still haven't left out i think it's like half one i am about to step out the house i had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction i was literally on the toilet probably tmi but i was on the toilet and my top um popped on me the strap Luckily, I've got another one. I've got a dress version, so I just folded it and done exactly the same thing. But yeah, that really, yeah, ticked me off. But I'm about to leave out and we can finally get on with the day.
Hey guys, so I'm back from being out. I need to get better at vlogging whilst I'm out. But to be honest, today was impossible because I've got like bags and stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys through um, a bit of a haul of stuff that I got. I got a bit of like clothing that was on sale in Zara and Primark. And then I also got all the home stuff that I was telling you guys about. So I'm gonna sit down with you guys and kind of bring you through all the things in order. Okay guys, so I've had to put my ring light on because it's a bit dark. So hopefully you guys can see me. I'm gonna start with a all the things that i got from primark and home decor stuff because yeah it's the first thing i saw so we'll start with the home decor stuff i just got this lantern candle from primark i knew that i wanted to add a few more of these to my bedroom so yeah this was one pound fifty from primark always a bargain i also got this candle holder Honestly, guys, I've seen something like this. Let's see if it'll focus. I've seen something like this in H&M Home and it was like £17 and Primark were doing it for £3. Can't go wrong. So I've got this. It's like a candle holder thinking of putting it either in the kitchen or the living space. So that was a bargain as well. So I've also got this candle from Primark Home. I've already got this in white. You've probably seen it on my Instagram and here probably a little bit. But um, I thought I'd get it in nude as well. So it's like a cream. Well, it says cream on here. But it's given more nude. It was £3. And that was from Primark Home as well. I got a light bulb. <laughs> Um, this is literally for my lamp stand, which I'm going to be showing you guys a bit later when I change the shade on it. Guys, the shade I got. But yeah, I got a new bulb because the bulb that I've got in there right now is massive and it's too big for certain shades that um, I like. So yeah, I had to get a new bulb. That was, I think that was like £3 from Argus. That was from Argus. These have been spoken about so much on social media and I went into Primark today and I was shocked to actually still see them. So I said, you know what, let me grab two. So I got this jasmine candle, jasmine scented candle. And they're apparently like the same as, um, I don't know what they're actually called. Is it Jo Malone um, dupes? I think they're dupes of Jo Malone. But oh, I need to get the wrapper off. The candles are beautiful. I got one in jasmine and I got one in the scent vanilla as well. And they were literally only three pounds or only three pounds each. So they were absolutely bargain. They went from six pounds to three pounds. So I got those, one for my kitchen, one for my living room and one for my bedroom space as well. So I got those. I purchased my paintbrushes because I think I showed you guys earlier in the vlog, I've got a few patches on the wall that I need to put white again. So I've got these. Oh, wait, no, there's one thing. The most, the most, the biggest thing I bought. So today I was in H&M Home and I've been actually looking, guys, for a lampshade <laughs> for my living space that would give minimal vibes. It could go with every theme. And just by chance, I was looking in H&M Home today, just browsing, and I found this for £17 and it's gone down from £35. So that was such a bargain, honestly. I'm gonna, that's why I've got this the smaller bulb to see if it will actually fit on the, sh the um, lampstand so i'm praying to god fingers crossed that it, it fits because it's really with the scheme of what i'm going for for spring for my home i'm really doing minimal a lot of white clean that's the kind of vibes i'm going for and greenery and stuff so this shade will go lovely but i'll show you a bit more of that later when i'm trying to pop it onto the stand so yes that is all of the oh, I didn't miss anything. yeah i think that's all the home stuff so now i'm going to get on to a bit of a clothes haul i'm going to show you them but i'll probably put um little snippets here of me trying them on um so yeah. start the clothing haul we will go into what i got from zara first so um, i went into zara and i actually wasn't trying to get anything i'm not gonna lie but i went to the back of the shop and ended up seeing the sales section i said huh sale is not gonna miss me so i got this cute so adorable i'm gonna see if i like it you'll you'll be able to tell when i try it on next to me if i like it but it's like a bandeau top sweetheart neck and it was only 5.99 and it's like a knitted i don't know if you can see but it's got like a knitted fabric to it which is just beautiful so i got that I got this cute little mini skirt as well from Zara and this was actually $5.99. A lot of these kind of little things I wear in my house. I just like to throw them on with probably a crop top or a bodysuit or whatever and walk around my house. Like it's literally house clothes. But yeah, I thought this would be cute for summer as well and holiday or whatever because it's one of, the, it's that fabric. I don't know if you guys have seen the fabric that you can get in Zara and it's just, but this is it. And yeah, it was only $5.99. It's got $5.99 in here, but on the receipt it's $5.99. So yeah, bargain. I just, I needed more basics. This one's not in the sale, it's $7.99, but I just needed more basic, so I just got this basic crop white tee for like when I want to do high waisted jeans or leggings or whatever and just run an errand. So I got this, um, so that was 
that was good as well and then look at this guys this is another basic but it's a bougie basic like girl should we quickly go for a brunch why not do you want to go get some drinks why not that's what this is giving me um this was 15.99 from zara so nice it's a one sleeve top i'm hoping it suits me they had it in black and i was really really battling as to whether i should have got it in black as well but i've got too much black so it's like let me just do the cream and see how that goes so i got that onto primark i went into primark today guys and found these honestly i feel like the only reason i even picked them up is because it, they were three pounds they were three pounds guys these trousers you'll see them on me in the next see if they actually fit but i like the slouchy vibe and i think these will look cute for with like even the white basic crop top that i just showed you i think that would be a vibe but even with what i've got on now this this um bodysuit from zara i feel like it would go nice with that and just a pair of converse or jordans or forces or whatever but i think these these are amazing for three pounds three pounds so yeah that was an absolute bargain and then last but not least i've been looking at these tops in primark for a while but i said i was not paying the price that they were showing up as i was not doing it not doing it to myself at all so um yeah i found that you'll see it on me in the next one it's a bit difficult to tell what it looks like when i'm holding it up but it's just like a really nice fabric stretchy top i'm gonna have to put it in the wash um stretchy top and it was only seven pounds on sale so bargain even if i want to do like i said before it could even be cycling shorts leggings jeans or even a nice skirt i think this would be absolute vibe so that is literally all yep that's all i got today when i was out guys so absolute bargains i'm really really happy with with what i got so guys i'm gonna put my cardigan back on actually literally as i was saying this is the lamp stand that i'm changing out this it's a lovely it's like it's actually a vibe it is a vibe but it's not the vibe that i'm going for right now i've got another one of these in my entryway so i'm thinking of just probably putting this on there because it's currently just naked and she's got a bowl and um, so i'm hoping to god <laughs> praying to god that this new bowl that i've got fits in this stand should fit if it's an e27 bowl this is the bowl that is that was in there really really pretty and it's got this like moody light into it it's like really cozy cozy and like yellowish orange um so i'm hoping this can do the same thing i'm really praying this can do the same thing but i need to see if they both fit on here and if they do amazing if they don't don't know for me i don't know for me i think we've got a winner guys i think we've got a fair guys <laughs> I'm just gonna see if the shade fits with the bowl because the woman said to me in H&M today that if, um, if it doesn't fit, I can bring it back as long as, as long as um, the wrapping is still on it. So that's what I'm gonna keep the wrapping on right now. But let's see if it fits. Wow, guys, it fits. How much of a vibe is that? Wow, I love that. I really wanted this clean look. It's what I wanted, but I need to see what color the light bulb actually is. So let's see what color the bulb is. Let's see. Oh, that is a vibe. That's nice, that is. And I feel like that goes with exactly what I'm thinking for the living space. What do you guys think? It's really nice, that. I actually just finished recording little snippets. That's why I'm in different clothes. But I'm really obsessed with the trousers from Primark. These were some amazing shockers for three pounds. Three pounds, guys. Three pounds. That, yeah. Blown, blown away. But yeah, like I was saying in the previous clip, um, the lampshade that's on the stand and the bulb, I love it. I love the combo. Really happy that I went and done it. I'm thinking of what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint over the little bits in the living room because the wall is really annoying me. Um, and I'm going to see where that I'm putting because I was contemplating on putting my arch mirror back up there just as like a focal point with like the lamp. Let me show you guys. So yeah, I was thinking of putting the um, arch mirror that's there. I was thinking of probably putting that back up there with the plant like how it is but just on its own because i want a bit more of a minimalist vibe then with the lamp next to it or i was going to put that that little art piece that you can see there i was going to put that up there but i'm guessing i could if i don't put the art piece up there then i could potentially put it on the other side um because yeah i love the art piece from primark home 
um so yeah that's what i'm gonna get on with now um so yeah we're gonna do that and then i will catch you guys in a moment okay this cupboard is like not aesthetically pleasing like you know how the vloggers like to add like everything's beautiful it's a lie it's a big lie guys it's a lie oh, oh. this cupboard that um the builders in here actually gave me um when i asked for some white paint a while ago so i'm gonna be using that also need to clear all these bags i think i might end up returning um the let me show y'all i think i might end up returning this only because i just don't it's definitely cute for a summer vibe but i feel like you need to have shape for this and i'm quite i'm quite little i'm quite small i don't really have like the that hourglass figure vibe and i feel like that kind of top is definitely for them babes that have the figure already so it just slips on i'm not that babe and part of me is like wait wait it out see if you can find something that will go really nicely with it and probably cinch you in or just return it i mean what do you guys think i should do here for the skirt for the house because it's really really short like when i bend over in it you can basically see heaven so yeah love this this top is yeah really happy with the fit of that and i'm really happy with the fit of the primark one i feel like the primark one i'm gonna be in that all the time so guys imagine i was going to start painting the wall those two annoying marks on the wall only for me to open up the paint and find that the paint is actually hard i didn't actually know what to do with myself as you can see here i started contemplating life very deeply yeah so i was stuck after that look look at my face oh so annoying okay guys so i don't know if you can see it very well on camera but i basically changed out my vase that was actually in the entryway so that i can put it in the living room i feel like it would fit better in there um i didn't actually need a new vase i've, I've realized i've got quite a few in my house so um i just added a bit more pampas and um greenery and i'm gonna just pop that on the table next to the lamp and i think it's gonna be such a vibe hey google stop music <sighs> good evening guys um today's been hectic today has not gone as planned <laughs> today is one of them vlogs where it's like okay this hasn't gone as planned but i'm still gonna be you know doing things anyway i think we last left off i noticed that the paint for the wall that i wanted to patch up was dry so it was no longer like i couldn't work it couldn't be used and it stunk i think it, i don't know if paint goes off but if paint goes off that's what it smells like um, and I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I'm getting ready. I had to get ready and rush and sort out the house in time because I'm going for like donuts and chai with one of my besties. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I am still dressed up now. But yeah, I managed to sort out the living room around the two patches that are frustrating me. So I'm going to show you guys what I've got thus far. I'll show you like little bits that I've moved around and added and all of that good stuff. Um, and then we're going to be off to donuts and chai with my bestie or whatever. I'm going to show you what I've got on now as well. It's really simple, but yeah okay guys so here's the sofa basically all i've done here was just remove a few of this um cushions i don't know if you remember but i had a ray of cushions on the sofa the lighting's not amazing because it's night time um so yeah sorry um and i got my two canvases still above the sofa i'll show you guys again this in the morning just so that you guys can see it with better lighting i've still got my footstool here i just put um candle that i got today from primark and some deco pieces that were already there and a marble tray and then over this side, this is where it's all refreshed, really. I've got a table with a rug in there. I've got a picture of myself and a few candles on the table. I've got my new lamp stand, which I moved from the other side to here, as it feels a bit more minimalist. I, I still got my rug on the wall. Um, it's the same. Put my bokeh flowers here next to the TV and this new Greek face that I got. This face candle and this small candle that I got from Sonrio and Co. A small business on Instagram got my other candle holder here but i think i'm gonna end up moving it because i just don't feel like it's necessary for anything to be here i got my throw basket with all my throws in they were all originally on the sofa but like i said i wanted to be a bit more minimalist with the sofa i don't know if i told you guys but i'm planning on changing my sofa out as well um in the foreseeable future i've been trying to get this one sold because i just feel like it's really big for the space i'm thinking of getting like a two-seater something small and sleek because it's just me at home and yeah i've put the mirror here 
put the mirror on the wall like i said the two patches are still there but i'm going to be ordering paint to go over those so it will all be fresh and white my other side table here candle from primark that i got today i think it's the dupe of the joe malone one i think that's the one that everyone keeps talking about I'll show you guys in the light it's really really pretty so pretty i got this one in vanilla and i got another one in jasmine so i got that and then just my bouquet of um, Pampas Eucalyptus and I've put a bit of baby's breath in there as well. So it's a bit of a vibe. But yeah, um, might as well show you my fit while I'm at it. So yeah, I've got this fit on. This is the top that I got today from Zara. $5.99 or $7.99, I think. Really nice basic. I think I'm going to go and get it in grey and black as well because I love little basic crops like this. And then I got some Zara jeans on. These were $5.99, I think, in the sale. But these were from like last last year or the year before guys um so yeah i got these on i don't know what i'm gonna wear on my bottom i think i might just honestly because we're gonna be sitting in the car it's like a a drive-through kind of place let me turn the camera around yeah so because it's like a drive-through kind of place i'm thinking to just put slides on honestly and my big bomber jacket my cropped black one that i think i showed you in the last video and so i'm thinking of probably something really simple like that it's nothing dress up we're literally just chilling and talking and catching up and vibing so i think that's gonna be the vibe today but yeah that's that's my day guys it was really stressful <laughs> today was stressful it has not gone as planned and i've still got to come home after i do don donuts and try with my friend and start a website for a client because today just hasn't gone to plan but anyhow we still move we move oh i don't know if you can see there actually in the back i moved my lampshade from the living room into the entryway so that's there now <laughs> just to show you guys that um i'd probably give you a bit of an overview of the bedroom as well actually it's a bit of a bit of a stay but don't watch that i'll show you the bedroom okay guys so the bedroom is my socks on here that i need to put on <laughs> um, my bedroom yeah same side tables everything's the same all i done was change out a few things on my dressing table and over by my tv area i put that picture that was in the living room on the wall in here and put um, my candle lantern and things in here and then i just changed this little area out i did a little book underneath my photo frame and candle so yeah and um, the photo frame is from h&m home the candles from tk maxx the little ornament is from primark and the design book is from tk maxx as well so yeah that's um my bedroom it's a little overview i'll probably give you guys more of an overview tomorrow when the lighting is better it's, it's the evening now so the lighting's a bit you know crap but yeah guys um that's the bedroom like i said i'll show you guys again tomorrow when the lighting's a bit better yeah i'm really i'm in love with the living room right now i love where it's at i think i said in the last vlog i have an obsession with like i have not even obsession i have urges i have urges as the seasons go where it's like i need to change my house something doesn't feel right but my urge this time was it felt way too cluttered it felt like there was too much going on in the living room and it's such a small space and to me the sofa's already massive and i've already won a smaller sofa and i'm trying to minimalize a lot but also wanted to channel a bit of i don't know if i said it earlier but i really wanted to channel a bit of greek persian vibes in the living room and i feel like i've really done that even with like the candle of the greek head and um like the the bars that my flowers are in like i feel like it's very greekish and my lampshade as well it feels really like like I'm in Greece or Tulum or somewhere like that. And that's what I really want to bring into spring slash summer. And I just didn't want too much stuff going on on the sofa. So I'm really happy with how it's going. All I need to do is paint. <sighs> Things like that really get me. I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what, but all I need to do is paint over those and I feel like I'll feel secure with the living room. But yeah, anyway, after donuts and chai with my friend. So I'll see you guys in a moment. guys um this is the fit i think i'm gonna get my little handbag that i had earlier i'm gonna show you fit today handbag jeans and then i actually ended up putting on my converse my pink converse is from i don't know where they're from i think they're from asos potentially so yeah this is the vibe it's like i said it's really chill casual nothing crazy um but yeah we're gonna head out so i'll speak to you guys in a bit. <laughs>
guys so i always do this i start the video and i don't know what time it is <laughs> i think it's like quarter to 12 i want to say but i'll put it on the screen anyway so yeah just got back in from donuts and chai with my bestie and it was really nice it was our first time trying it it was really really nice i think for me anyway because um i haven't eaten today properly which you guys know it's something i struggle to do because i haven't eaten today what i feel like this isn't straight yeah because i haven't eaten today um it was really like sweet for me but i saved majority of the stuff that i got i got a cookie dough a oreo donut um a chai tea and a sugar donut so i've saved a lot of that um like half of it um to eat after i like get something like of substance down me probably and um, well, even for tomorrow i'm gonna put it in the fruit but yeah it was really really nice nice little catch up it was romantic vibes dry fruit it gave america vibes so if you guys haven't tried it it's in birmingham try it out but yeah the rest of the night it's late but I'm, i think i've still got a bit of energy i'm not fully fully tired i'm gonna wipe off my makeup and i'm going to do a bit of start off a website for my client and i'm going to probably do a bit of rendering and just watch some vlogs um, and edit as well this video that is going up in the next few days so yeah i'm going to catch you guys in the morning hopefully tomorrow i'm actually having a self-care day i'm going to be waking up continuing this website for my client rendering and i'm going to counseling tomorrow so tomorrow's quite chill. I'm going to be at home all day. I might leave in the house until I go to counselling. So yeah, tomorrow should be a good day. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. it is tuesday and yeah i woke up this morning i feel really tired i went to bed at 4 a.m <laughs> this morning i don't know what came over me but yeah i went to bed at 4 a.m today's today was supposed to be a self-care day but i remembered it's one of my favorite uncle's birthday so i'm gonna probably go and see him also be continuing my client's website and a bit of self-care still in the day because i've got counseling later but i'm gonna leave the vlog here because i feel like it's long and i don't want it to be too long for you guys and i don't know if you guys like long vlogs yet gave you guys a little bit of an overview of the living room in daylight just so hopefully you've seen it a bit but in the next vlog i'll probably touch more on it and hopefully those patches on the wall will be done will be sorted but yeah guys that is it from me i will see you in the next vlog Thank you.